I would wear a suit to film this, but have you seen the price of clothing? Dear President Obama, let me start off by saying that I know you're the new guy. I realize that you've got two, if not more, presidential terms of BS piled up that you're trying to fix. And I understand that there are matters far more pressing to deal with than some fat guy's tax problems. For you. For me, it's on the top of the list of things that make me lose sleep at night, which is doubly worse because I'm already an insomniac to begin with. So yes, you're the new guy, but you're now the leader of this nation. And now I appeal to you and your cabinet to do something real to help the situation that America is now facing. So let me just start off with a little bit of my personal situation in this downward spiral of economic turmoil. About three and a half years ago, I was laid off from a really steady job remodeling a hospital, and for good reason. There was no reason to keep people employed after the job was done. I had assumed that I could probably still make enough to live on my own being self-employed. Sadly, I was mistaken. I had recently gotten married, and even with the dual income, we still couldn't afford to keep our own apartment. So I was forced to move back in with my family. We run a family business. We're self-employed contract laborers, so when one of us has a setback, we all have a setback. So when my wife and I had to move back in, my brother soon had to follow because he too couldn't afford his own place any longer. And this situation was only supposed to be temporary, a minor setback that would end when we got back on our feet. Three and a half years later, here I sit in a little less debt and a little better position, but still in the same basic place I was then. I'm pragmatic about it. I have a roof over my head, food in my stomach, obviously, and a family that actually cares about me. But I still have yet to find the means to get ahead. So that leads us to today, when I get a letter from the IRS telling me that they've levied my bank account. And if they can't get the $5,000 I owe them from that, they're going to levy my other accounts until they get the money that they need. Needless to say, I was a little peeved. They obviously have access to my bank account, and even a cursory glance at a transaction sheet would let them know that I barely have enough money to even survive, let alone pay them. Apparently that doesn't stop them from trying to play the bully game. I'm not even sure I understand why it's legal to do this to somebody if they're obviously having trouble even getting by. I mean, at this point I'm sitting here quietly waiting for hired thugs to bust down my door and break my kneecaps just to send me a message. And the kicker is that this letter was from an automated collection system. Automated. A computer system is apparently going to decide when my bank account needs to be levied because I can't pay them. A computer with no knowledge of human circumstance, no emotion is going to decide that I'm a horrible person simply because I decide to have electricity and running water instead of sending the IRS that money. Now, more than ever, I think it's safe to say that given the state of the economy, there are a lot of people out there that are just like me that need to catch a break. $5,000 is probably not a lot of money to most people, but if you apply the circumstances that I and so many other people are in, that money is like a two-ton weight sitting on your chest, crushing the life out of you. Now, I watch the news, and I see that you're trying to formulate a game plan to save America. But you talk about this economic stimulus package like it's going to be America's salvation in a nutshell. So long as Americans stop living above their means anyway. And that may be true to an extent for some people. But when you look at the big picture, it's obvious that it's only a temporary fix. It's only a temporary solution to a problem that exceeds anything America has ever seen economically. Now, I know I'm in no position to tell anybody how to run anything, let alone how to run America. But logic dictates that if you have a large percentage of people who owe money to one government department or another, and you try to give them money that they're never going to see, it's not going to solve anything. The last stimulus check that was issued to me under Bush went straight to my back tax balance. I'm not bitter about it. I owe money, and that's where it should go first, but to call that economic stimulus is just simply incorrect. Logically, you're just giving the government extra money on my behalf, which makes no sense to me. It's basically the same thing as saying, hey, let's just knock $300 off the balance owed and call it a day. Gee, thanks, guys. That really helped my position out a lot. That $300 is going to be back on the balance in a few months through penalties and interest. Why? Because I can already barely afford the necessities like utilities, gas, car insurance, food even living in a five-person household. To me, what these companies and departments are implying is that they don't care about you. They don't care about your circumstances, and they don't care about your situation. They simply want their money, and they want it now. They don't care how you do it. They don't care how you go about getting it to them. They just want their money. They're implying to me that who cares if you live with your immediate family and your wife? Who cares if you can't even afford to go to the dentist even though your teeth feel like they're going to explode in your mouth? Just give us our money. That really doesn't seem very fair to me. What I'm getting at is that people don't need a small check to pay off a portion of their debt or to even dump into useless material goods. They need a clean slate. A little debt over an extended period of time adds up as evidenced clearly by me. I've never lived above my means, and while I've made two purchases in particular that I really probably didn't need, 
That's much less than the average American these days. Rounding up and counting everything, I'm less than $10,000 in debt. It's not a lot of money compared to a lot of people. It's only about a fifth of what the average middle class person makes in a year. But that $10,000 seems like an infinite amount of money to me when it takes all I have just to survive. Companies taking advantage, jacking up interest rates, adding penalties and interest to the point that making a minimum payment does nothing to the effective balance is nothing short of ludicrous. The IRS levying a bank account that has never had more than a few hundred dollars in it at any given time is nothing short of insanity. I cannot give you money that I do not have and when I form collection agencies of that and even the IRS in particular they tell me why don't I just go apply for a credit card to pay off the balance and I ask you how does that solve anything? It seems to me in my experience that companies and departments only want to pass the debt off to somebody else, which is only going to lead to more of the same. And this is why it seems obvious to me that people don't need handouts. They need real and true help. A clean slate. Now I don't mean that people who live above their means need a clean slate. I don't mean people who go out and buy two cars, a giant house, furniture, and electronics deserve to have their past wiped clean. But people who've tried to help their family, tried to be frugal, and tried to save, and through a bad situation haven't been able to, they do need help. Now to be completely honest, I'm tired of beating myself up over it. I've blamed myself for my position for years, and I've tried everything humanly possible to remedy it. I've tried to help myself given the circumstances of real life, physicality, mentality, the area I live in. Now don't get me wrong, I will always try, I was raised to believe that, but for things to truly change, my situation has to change, and my circumstances have to change. And for my circumstances to change, I have to get out from under this debt that most would call trivial but I call a burden. I'm not looking for a handout. I've worked for everything I've had and I don't ever plan on that changing. I'm looking for a break. I'm looking for some of that change and hope that you've gone on about for the better part of two years. I know that it'll take time. I know that I'm not gonna wake up one morning and everything's gonna magically be okay. But I also know that there have to be better ways to fix these scrapes and bruises. I know I'm just one man. Hell, I'm just an average one at that. And I know that this message or letter or whatever you want to call it will probably never see the light of day except for the small portion of people that happen to come across it. But I hope that in one form or another that this message reaches you through some channel. And I hope that because I hope that you can understand how this economic situation is affecting the average person. So all long-winded statements aside, I wish you luck in the coming years. I really do. Because in the shape this country is in, you're gonna need it.